everyone, it's the Going Gonzo Show, and it's a beautiful day to uh, spend the day outside Michigan, checking out different things, and if uh, one thing you could do is head up to Mackinac Island, because Bobby Benzer is there. Bobby, how you doing? Hey, great, Gonzo. Beautiful day again here on Mackinac Island. Yeah, it's, a, it's just gorgeous up there. Whether it rains or not, it doesn't matter. It's always a beautiful day up there, right? No, uh, we've had a great stretch of weather. It's been, uh, you know, we just finished up the Chicago to Mackinac race, and before that was the debut of Mackinac race. Most races were uh, quick, they had good winds, uh, a lot of happy sailors, and the weather's really mild right now. It's just, in my mind, super comfortable, perfect temperatures. Well, we love to hear that, and of course, you're getting ready to celebrate a big day. We have a big day. This Sunday, the 27th, is our 127th anniversary for the original Murdoch Spudge. And uh, we've got you know, big things planned for that day. The stores will be decorated uh, for their birthday. Um, we're handing out to each of the guests uh, at the end of that day. The first 127 guests at each of the stores get uh, a piece, a half pound piece of our Michigan honey butter flavor. It's our newest pure Michigan flavor. Uh, made mainly with all Michigan um, ingredients. So we're doing that. We're offering uh, free online shipping starting now, right on through to the end of the month. You can go to originalmarketsplash.com, order whatever you'd like, and we're shipping all over the country for, for no charge. 127 years you're celebrating uh, original Murdoch's Fudge there on Mackinac Island. You have two locations on the island, right? We have two locations downtown, one basically across the Pink Pony in the Chippewa Hotel, and the other locations across from the Lilac Tree Hotel. And then we actually have a third location up in what they call Surrey Hills, where the uh, heritage stores uh, make a stop in their you know, historic antique um, buggies and other kind of fun things to do. So and we have one store in Mackinac City and one store in St. Ignace. But the two stores on the main street of Mackinac Island will be offering that gift um, Sunday, starting Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Now, of course, you call if yourself... You're on, yeah, if you're not on the island, you can you know, still take advantage of the, uh, the free shipping online. So we're excited about that. The order is starting uh, this morning. It really started to pour in. Well, fantastic, Bobby. I know that uh, there are several places to go on the island for fudge, but you're the original Murdoch's Fudge. Can you give folks just a quick little background? I know we've talked about it before, but uh, you trace your roots back uh, a long way for your recipe. We, we do go a long way back. I mean, we are the original fudge store on, on the island. The service is part of, um, immigrated from Germany and into the Petrosky area, basically in 1886, 1887. And uh, Mr. Murdoch was a uh, skilled sailmaker for, you know, making sales for uh, sailboats. So he was recruited to work at the Grand Hotel and, and build and manufacture awnings for the Grand Hotel. So... When he and his wife, Sarah, Henry and Sarah Murdoch, moved to Mackinac, he worked for the Grand Hotel. And Sarah uh, started a little kitchenette called Murdoch's Kitchenette. You know, it's a little luncheon place, but but she also made her famous fudge kind of in the back room. And, and then at a point in time, we don't know exactly when, in the early 1900s, she moved. You know, the fudge operation became the mainstay, where they moved that out the front window, the sidewalk, so to speak, and started you know, handcrafting, you know, fudge, brittle, and all the stuff that we do today, we really haven't changed much. It's the same store, same basic recipes, but we've expanded on on the uh, number of flavors that we offer. This year, you know, through a Facebook contest, um, inspiration came from a gallon of Metro Detroit to do a Michigan honey butter fudge. And it's gone over well, yeah. hasn't it? It's gone over really well. It's all... A little extra brown sugar, extra butter, and then Michigan honey. So it's, um, you know, it's been well received. Our, our sea salt uh, caramel double chocolate is still our number one seller, but the Michigan honey butter has been a very popular flavor for this, this summer. Well, you can order, obviously, free shipping uh, through the end of the month of July here in 2014, but on Sunday, July 27th, if you're one of the First, 127 people in the door, you get that, that free slice of fudge. And, of course, they'll find other goodies to buy, I'm sure, when they're in your, one of your stores, right? Absolutely. Caramel corn and pecan and pecan brittle, pistachio brittle, uh, cashew brittle, uh, cheese corn, coffee. Lots of fudge treats other than fudge. Well, Bobby, you mentioned the, the, the Chippewa and the Pink Pony and the Lilac, uh, some of these businesses you own on the island. I have to ask you, because you know I'm a beer lover, how is the Pink Pony Al going over? Because when I sampled it earlier this year, I just loved it. Yeah, no sales have dropped since you left, man. So, <laughs> yeah, 
on it. But uh, no, just kidding. It's, we're selling it now in six packs, I think, as you know. So that's, a, that's new for the big pony this year. And uh, we have 12 Michigan beers on tap that we're offering. We're actually building another 12 caps that will be online here any day. So we'll be offering you know, 24 um, craft beers, most of which will be from Michigan. I think 20 or 21 will be from um, you know, Michigan breweries. So we're really excited about that. There's always action at the Pink Pony, as you know, a great lunch spot on the patio watching the Marine and the Raiders go by. Um, the entertainment in the afternoon on the patio, then of course they have nightly entertainment in the Pink Pony itself. Uh, but there's still lots of rooms available. We've, we've had a busy summer, but you can go online and check it out. Uh, both the Chip One and the are great places to stay. You know, the Grand Hotels, uh, you know, an amazing hotel, and they're celebrating their 127th birthday as well. And then you have, you know, other nice properties, Bishop Park Resort, um, the Iroquois Hotel, and several others. So lots of places to stay on Mackinac. If you haven't, you know, experienced Mackinac by night, you really haven't experienced all of the island offers. Both things just don't. You know, by day, taking a day, day trip over. But you really, if you can, you know, stay a night or two on Mackinac Island. It's, it's pretty cool. Original MurdochSfudge.com for more information. Uh, people can check that out or go online, obviously. And then what about the other properties? What's a great place to get a, like, if you want to spend the night at the Chippewa, where where can people go at the Lilac Tree? Well, uh, well yeah, other than the Chippewa and the Lilac Tree, the hotels, as I mentioned, and, you know, you have Corn's Bar, Yankee Rebel, the Iroquois is a great place to eat. Uh, the Woods is a fine restaurant. It's a great hotel restaurant about two and a half miles from downtown. You take a nice horse-drawn uh, carriage to the Woods restaurant. So lots of different uh, venues to, you know, eat and drink and you know, grab a Michigan craft beer, take in some entertainment or whatever it might be. All right, so the next time I'm out there, will you promise me two things, some fudge and some pink pony ale, right? Very good. Yeah. Hey, fudge and, fudge and pink pony ale, you know, wearing a pink pony hat, you're yeah, pretty much good to go. <laughs> Bobby Benzer, thanks for, uh, for your time. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the island. Thanks, guys. Always nice talking to you. Have a great day. Take care.